What's up, guys? VG Review Unit here, back for a second episode of Fez. Where we left you is we just got the Fez hat. We met the poly, the hexahedron, and we now have the ability of 2D, 3D switching. So basically, uh, you get back to the glitch screen, you press A, and you basically restart your day, or so you think. And as you can see, it's it's a pretty cool little thing. It's not too bad. Rather enjoyable. A little bit of running around, jumping on some crap, having some fun. Not too crazy. Not too, you know, stupid. A little difficult to understand, a little difficult to grasp, but a lot of fun. And here comes Dot. I'm kind of ruining things, I'm sorry, this is Dot. Apparently the hexahedron decides to, uh, blow up. I do like how it gives us a little quick synopsis. And as you can see, you know, you kind of, you change perspectives and... It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to explain, you gotta kind of be there. I mean, I know it looks like it makes sense in the game, in the gameplay video, but in order to actually play it and grasp, it's kind of different. Doesn't look that hard. Kind of is. Vines! And now that see this part of the game with the with the golden squares reminds me a lot of Banjo Kazooie. I kind of got lost halfway through this game trying to find the uh, thing. Now see, fall and die. Now the cool thing about the changing in perspective while you're gaming is you're able to like see how I couldn't jump that. Well, from that angle and that position, I can. So I'm able to make it to places that I normally wouldn't be able to jump from the from the original 2D um, angles. I got a map. Mm -hmm. 
There's not much to talk about at the moment, so I'm going to kind of do some filler here. I've been reading the past hour about the Skyrim Connect um, voice commands, and i got to say it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy being able to scream at my TV and it's going to do something. I use it mainly for Netflix now, and even then I have to scream at my TV for it to do something. And I didn't notice this before, but he has the hat. I mean, I noticed it while gaming, but I was going to be at this point is when I noticed that he had the hat. I'm pretty excited to uh, play The Witcher 2. I didn't play The Witcher 1, which I know a lot of you are going to be like, what? But I'm excited to play The Witcher 2 just because I've heard that it's so much better. I think Witcher 1, my problem with The Witcher was that I didn't, it didn't have the, um, the controls that I wanted, really. It was kind of awkward on the PC, at least I never touched it on 360. I might pick it up. I've also been addicted to uh, Facebook games. Which is really kind of weird. I've been playing Castleville and Slingo. I feel kind of dirty at the moment. But then again, they're a lot of fun and kind of addicting. And kind of dangerous, really. At about this point in the game, I decided that I'm going to go into every building and find the squares, because, you know, that's exactly where there are in all the buildings. And so I did. I have to say, the game not only is innovative, it's it's kind of a break from the first-person shooter. It's kind of a break from the platforming. It's just It's just different. Really good and a lot of fun. If you haven't already bought the game, please buy it. It's so good. And well, as always, guys, I hope you like this video. And I hope at some point we comment and possibly subscribe. A lot of time and love is put into what I do. And I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next episode.